All right. So we are approaching a time of the year where um, people uh, are more sort of um, wired, for want of a better word, to be spending. So what I wanted to do is we approach, depending on where, of course, in the world you live, when we approach Thanksgiving and uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the sort of Boxing Day sales in and around Christmas, and of course, the January sales, I just wanted to share some thoughts, uh, some experience and give one or two tips uh, based on my countless number of years uh, working really hard with businesses and entrepreneurs at this time of year in particular, in order to maximize their sales. So the first point I really wanted to make is there is still time. You know, so often we get to this time of the year and we think it hasn't been uh, the kind of year that we really wanted ideally, but it's, it's amazing. You can make tremendous headway between November and January with the sales, sometimes even more than you made the previous sort of January through to October, just by that understanding that you need to put offers in front of people at a time of year where they are more open than other times to these offers. Okay, so there's still time, number one. Number two, um, it's the offer. If we could ever take a, a bit of a leaf out of the retail businesses, and I'm talking about some of the bigger ones, the biggest supermarkets and, and department stores, is their ability to always put different offers in front of you. Now, I firmly struggle from time to time with just being cheap with your offer. With your offer, you can say buy one, get one free. You can say with your offer, uh, free shipping. You can say with your offer, buy now, pay later. There are different ways that you can be uh, creative with your offer. And that's where the magic really happens. However, if you do choose to go a little bit sort of more lenient with the price, which is absolutely fine, particularly with the uh, Black Friday and the Cyber Monday and the Boxing Day sales, these two principles of scarcity and urgency become really, really important. Scarcity from the standpoint that there's only so many available at this price for so many people, and the urgency in that it must be purchased or ordered or reserved or intent must be shown by this specific date, and you have to, have to, have to stick to it. So scarcity and urgency work very well if you're going a little bit down on your price. But otherwise, I think that the, the magic with offers really, really works when you can sort of find some sort of value add as opposed to going uh, low, because as the great Seth Godin likes to say, you know, uh, the race to the bottom, it's crowded down there. And thirdly, I'd like to really talk about follow up. This is huge. If there was ever a secret weapon for people who really maximize uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, Boxing Day sales, January sales, it's their ability to go back in front of people who, for whatever reason, did not take them up on their offer at that time. So there are a few small mechanisms that you can put in place to ensure this. Uh, number one is if you send someone to the offer page, they first have to enter their email address in order to then sort of take that a step further. That way you're able to sort of go back and say, for example, hey, Matra, I noticed you put your email in for our Black Friday sale and you didn't take it up on it. We have something else for you. You can do that. Secondly, and I know it's a bit of a mess at the moment with all the whole iOS and the Facebook, Google um, sort of ecosystem. However, putting some tracking like a simple Facebook retargeting pixel on the page, and it has been made so easy that regardless of what you're working, whether it's a Shopify store, whether it's a Wix site, whether it is a basic WordPress website, it does not matter. You are able to put some code on the page. And if you put the code on that specific offer page, once again, at a later date, you can not only follow up with the people who went there and did not buy, but Facebook will also find other people just like these people who have been doing some shopping around and maybe they went and bought somewhere else. So those three things again, first of all, there is still time. If you can put your head down and you can just sort of think through what you're going to offer between now and the January sort of sales, there's still time to do very, very well. Secondly, think about your offer. You know, don't always necessarily go cheap and low with your offer. Me, for example, and go figure, I always raise my prices on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I mean, go figure, but I do, you know, so find a way to sort of be really novel with this. If you do go lower than normal, make sure that you include 
urgency, you know, a reason for someone to buy then and there, or certainly within a certain amount of time and scarcity, just don't make this available for everybody. And you must stick to it. Because if you say, look, you need to buy it by a certain date, and there's only so many going, and then like a month or two later, you're saying the same thing, they'll never take you seriously. And more importantly, they'll always wait for you to go back, metaphorically speaking, cap in hand. And thirdly, the real fortune and the magic is in the follow up. So make sure if you can to set something in place where in order for somebody to even learn more at times about the special offer, they need to submit a form, they need to give you their email address, or if you can put some Facebook uh, code on any of your pages, uh, be it a Squarespace page, be it a Wix page, uh, be it a WordPress site, it does not matter. These uh, platforms all factor in for codes to be put on there and allowing up. But you will be so surprised how many people who look at your offer do not take you up on your offer. And then another two, four, six weeks later, they come back and they're ready to buy. So make sure you do that. And hey, if you need any help with this, if you just like to talk about it a little bit further, just go to muchamurapa.com forward slash offers, muchamurapa.com forward slash offers. Uh, I'll be more than happy to sort of sit down with you. Let's see if we can put our heads together to get some really great offers. Or if you want the sort of tech side of things looked at where you want to uh, put together a form or an email follow-up or you want to put some Facebook retargeting code I'm pretty good at that too so thanks for taking the time but please 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 if you remember anything there is still time for you to really make hay with these sales uh, be it Black Friday uh, Cyber Monday uh, Boxing Day sales January sales and beyond take a leaf out of these retail giants who almost have this calendar. Here's a special offer. Here's a special offer. Here's a special offer. And special offers don't always have to be cheap ones either.